well, afternoon, y'all. Um, just got off work and came up here to one of my little honey holes to do some more testing on a rod that I bought, which y'all probably already seen the video. Um, but where I'm at is one of my, like I said, one of my honey holes for fall crappie, winter crappie, and right now bass because they're pushing up shallow. So I'm going to really use a lot of like small bait fish type baits like swim bait small crank stuff like that I'm only taking two rods down the one that i'm testing and i didn't charge my gopro all the way so i'm taking my battery pack in my creek hopping go-to bag that's where i keep all my small panfish stuff so let's stop talking and go fishing well i hope the view is okay i can't ever tell what the camera angle is like but seems like it's gone down a little bit more not by much but a little bit she's definitely gone down about four or five six feet maybe but what's funny is i have fished this standing from right here when uh, a couple years ago when we had some real bad floods um but yeah water was up to here like every bit of 10 12 feet deeper but anyway Oh. Let's get down here. Anybody home? Nope. But y'all sure did leave a damn mess. Anyway, I'm gonna set all my stuff up here instead of in the in the heat. In the heat of the night. I'm gonna sit y'all right yonder for a minute. All right, I'm gonna start out with these two. That was noisy. If you've ever wondered uh, what your lipless crank or whatever sounds like to the fish, cast it underneath a bridge. You can hear it rattling very well. Got it. No! That was a good one too. Dang it, that sucked. That was a good one. Ooh. Can't afford that one to go to the bottom because there's a tree limb right there. And let's see if it's busted. No, nope, looks good. Azuma baits are pretty good anyway. That's nowhere near where I wanted to cast. Very pretty fish. Oh, come on. Chill. Alright, I got my picture. I'll put you back. I'll try to do that one more again. Not again, but one more again. Got him. What is that? That is a little large head. Calm down, Sparky. He wasn't hooked all that great. Little large mouth. We'll take it. I need to jump my numbers up for this this year anyway. I may go ahead and just make a video out of this just so I can stay ahead of schedule. 
Like as of this video, I've got maybe that one feels a little bit better. I've got videos coming out every three days. I was doing every Wednesday, Saturday, but I changed it to every three days. And I've got videos scheduled to drop every three up till the 26th, I think, of November. So all of this month is covered. Nice little yellow bass. You can't have my my trout magnet. Yeah, I don't need to sum you anyway. I already took your picture. Got him. Well, away from that. Bullgill. I say, I say bullgill on a lot of bluegill just because it's funny. I would like for something a little bit bigger to come along though. It'd be nice. Let it sink a little bit longer over here on this little pocket because this is besides right there under the bridge this is the deepest part like right here because that channel snakes around and hits this bend in the creek and just formed a little pocket right here I don't know exactly how deep, but I know it is the deepest part besides right under the bridge, like I said. Dang it. Got him. What you is. Ooh. Nice yellow bass. Nice little yellow bass. Open your mouth, goober. Now he threw up a uh, little shad when he jumped a second ago. And something I'm noticing about this uh, b and TCB rod is especially on the bigger fish, you can feel the rod load up from them biting more than, got him, more than nibbles like on the bluegill and the smaller crappie stuff like that you feel the nibbles i'm not counting you because i didn't touch you but like i said with this rod i've been noticing the rod loading up before feeling the bite on the bigger fish and then a lot of the nibbles on the smaller ones well, that's going to be a wrap for this quick little video. Um, I probably won't include, actually, I definitely won't include everything that I caught. Total number was about 35, 36 fish. Mostly small bluegill and really small, undersized crappie. There was a few in there that were keeper size or close to it and one decent bass. But, yeah, good little afternoon on the water. I'm going to try to come back up here in the morning and see if I can get some of the bigger ones. But if you liked the video, like, share, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.